Welcome back. Well, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the big date to be specified show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, next, my next guest stars in Flash Forward, which is an awesome show. It's about people that are... I don't know. Uh, it's about the future, but not specified. Anyway, it's, it returns to ABC on March the 18th. Please welcome Sonia Walger, everybody. Sonia Walger. Sure. And how lovely to see you on this lovely non-specified evening. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here on this non-specific evening. What a lovely dress. Just something. Red. It's very bold. It it, when in doubt, pick red. I always do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now, are you, are you from... You're from England, I, I hear. I am. England and Argentina, both. Really? Yeah. That's a bit of a commute. <laughs> what did you do during the Falklands crisis? You must have been torn. Do you know, we called them the Falklands in the morning and the Malvinas in the afternoon. Very wise, yeah. I was also seven, so... It yeah, well, if you were that age, you, you, they don't ask you to get involved. Well, no. <laughs> no volunteering. How, uh, so, what part of England did you grow up in? London. What part of London? Fulham. I know Fulham. It's near Chelsea. Just next door. Yes, Parsons I yeah, Green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pa yeah. Parsons Green. No I know less. Parsons Do Green. You? Yeah, I used to dance under the name Parsons Green. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are, are you a, a theatre actress by trade then? Is that what it was? I, I did lots of theatre. I did. And then I came over here and did a, an HBO show and then stayed. What HBO show? A show called The Mind of the Married Man. Oh, the yes. Show. I never saw that. No. <laughs> well, no. I was single at the time. And I thought, who cares? <laughs> and then. <laughs> Three marriages later, it three, might have been no, worth well, it. No, I, I didn't get married like three times since that show was on. I mean, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> Are you married? I am newly married. Oh, congratulations! That's Success. lovely. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. You. Are you Are you married to a man or a lady? I'm married to a man. How very traditional. But how and good that you asked. Well, no, I thought I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, why, not? why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I'm modern. I'm right. modern. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> so, is your husband from England? No, he's from Boston. He's from ah, Boston. So he's from Ireland then. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and have you been to Boston? I love Boston. I have. We went once. It was raining the whole yes, time. Yes, that's Boston. That's yeah, Boston. you got the place. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We had it covered. It's nice. Yeah. So, but you live here now, right? We live here. We live in in the hills. And also in the rain, except it might not oh, be well, oh, no, I think evening. the rain may or may not have stopped may at an unspecified not. date. <laughs> right. You live out there? Just there. Over there. Just on the, over there. Yeah, on the hills, yeah. yeah. Just it's that nice. Hill. Do you know the thing about the Hollywood Hills is, though, that they have no sidewalks? I, isn't it a pain? Yeah, All these I, people that have children, what do they do? Well, they have to keep them indoors. They move to Santa Monica. <laughs> Yeah, Santa Monica, that's where you go when you've got kids. And right. you can take your Have you been at Santa Monica Pier? Yes. Do you? I just shot on the Santa Monica Pier in the torrential rain. Well, in you the, were... the sideways rain. Really? Yeah, we were on the big Ferris wheel shooting a scene. In sideways rain? Sideways rain. Uh, up at the top. There's a reason they closed the Santa Monica Pier when it's During raining. the sideways the, rain? Yeah, a... no, it's not for filming. No, and but there we were at the top of this uh, this thing, and I've got a little kid next to me who's got vertigo, and I keep a telling him, it's fine, shh, it's fine, it's fine, be sick that way. Yes. Oh, little I wouldn't let my kid act. No, it was no. terrible. Lightning. No, It was no. a bad scene. No. Would you, uh, do you have kids? Not yet. Yeah. Will, will you let that? Why not? Because you just got married. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes Fair people bit. have kids and they're not even married. I know. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. <laughs> but, um, would you, if, when you have kids, will you let them be actors? No. No. No, no, no. no, no I'm no. sending them back to England. Are you? Yes. Yeah, to boarding school? To Harry Potter school? <laughs> <laughs> Teach them to be wizards? <laughs> That would be fun. That would be great. I, I think there's a whole generation of kids like that, that want to go to boarding school because of Harry Potter. Yeah, they're someone needs to clear that up. It's yeah, I know, yeah. Not... Did you go to a boarding I school? did. And did you? Was yes. it a school for all girls? Just say yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Where? In England? <laughs> Was it in England? It was in England. Wow, man, that must have been a terrible pillow fighty thing going on at night. <laughs> with all that. Uniforms and knee-high oh, socks. Oh, that's the whole awful. How terrible for you. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and did you go to university there? I did. I went to Oxford there. Oxford, do no, you say? Less. So you're very brainy then. What did you study at Oxford? 
Reading. Reading. <laughs> English literature. In America, many of us master it before <laughs> university. But they, uh, what, what kind of reading That's did you... That's why they're the rulers of the world. Yeah, I guess. We're the not. No, uh, English literature. Which oh, is English specific. literature written by English people then, or predominantly English people, not foreign authors. No. Translated into English. No, literature right. written by English speakers. Right, Shakespeare writers, then. For instance. Yeah. Yeah. Any modern others. stuff? Got as far as T. S. Eliot ran out about there. I always find T. S. Eliot a bit incomprehensible. I know everyone loves it, but I'm like, oh, what the hell are you talking about? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe I would understand if I'd gone to a good school or something. But Maybe. I... Yeah, he's a tough one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He's not for the faint of heart. No, he's not for people who have got TV either. <laughs> Oh, shut up, T.S. Eliot. What's on TV? I always think. <laughs> Who's your favourite then out of all that mob then? Do you have, a, do you have an identifiable, like, like Byron, although he was Scottish, but the, uh, the, you know, somebody that you really just identify with more than any other uh, writer? Do you know, Henry James is a favourite, and weirdly, he was someone that I studied at, at Oxford, and then it occurred to me the other day, he was an American who moved to England and spent his whole life writing about what it was to be an expat. And yeah. I suddenly thought, huh. How weird that I've moved to America. I've never read any Henry James. I feel terribly unable to help you there. I haven't I've read any. <laughs> I'm all right on that, Lynn. Yeah, I'm no. OK. What about uh, P.G. Woodhouse? <laughs> you ever read any P.G. Woodhouse? Nah. You never read P.G. Woodhouse? Is that worth it? Oh, yes. P.G. Woodhouse was an English writer who became an American. He actually became an American citizen when he was 93, just before he died. Really? Yeah. And he, um, he used to write all the... It's terribly... Oh, Jeeves, oh yeah, Jeeves and Worcester, yeah, yeah. 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 And he was, he was very uh, incisive social commentary wrapped in humour. It was almost as if he disguised his rapier wit by just being, you know, sort of obviously funny. <laughs> I read that one a book. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it on TV actually. I, remember. I saw it in a documentary. <laughs> yeah. I know. So anyway, we are completely out of time, uh, which uh, is dreadful. Um, but that's you know. Show business. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Unspecified yeah. nights of show business. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> What's the show about? The flash, uh, flash, flash fl forward. Flash forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah no. that, the one I'm on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about people seeing a, a tiny glimpse of their future. Everyone passes out and they all get a little minute and a half of seeing their future. Well, I wouldn't like that. No, uh, it's not good. It doesn't work out so well. For no, I'm sure. For it, most of it us. It sounds like a bit of a cliffhanger. Is that cliffhanger? Yes, it is a cliffhanger. And, <laughs> and do, people, do people at the end of one week go, oh, I better watch that next week? Hopefully. And do they think when they see it, oh, I should probably buy the products advertised in between each act? <laughs> God willing, that's yeah, the plan. Yeah, that's what you want. That's yeah, the plan. yeah. Welcome to America, Sonia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta go. Lovely, Sonia. Everybody, we'll be right back.